Hi there. Now for this question, we've got to use standard results for sigma r and sigma r squared going from r equals 1 to n to show that the sum of r plus 2 times r plus 3 going from r equals 1 to n is equal to a third n times n squared plus 9n plus 26 for all positive integers n. And this is for six marks. So I'll give you a moment to pause the video if you'd like to have a go. And when you come back, you can either fast forward, check the final answer, my methods, or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So we've got to use standard results for these two summations. These results you should know, or you can find them generally in a formula book. Here they are here. The sum of the first n terms of r is equal to n over 2 times n plus 1. And the sum of r squared going from r equals 1 to n is equal to n over 6 times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. So how do we use these results then? Well, let's start by putting down the question first of all. And that is that we've got sigma, okay, r going from 1 to n of r plus 2 times r plus 3. Now what I'd want to do is to expand the brackets first of all. So we've got sigma r going from 1 to n then and expanding the brackets gives us r squared and then we've got 3r plus 2r so that's 5r and then 2 times 3 that's plus 6. Don't forget to put that all in brackets because you're summing over all of this. Now we've got three terms here and we can then put sigma notation around each term. So we're going to have sigma of r squared going from 1 to n. And then for the next term we can take out 5 out the front of the summation because it's a constant. And that's 5 times sigma uh, r, r going from 1 to n. And then for the constant 6, this is the same as 6 times summing 1 going from r equals 1 to n. Now we can use these standard results that we've got here. So uh, for the first one then, we've got n over 6. Okay, times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 and then we've got 5 times this one up here 5 times n over 2 so that's 5n over 2 then times n plus 1 and if we're summing 1 from r equals 1 to n that's going to come to a total of n multiply it with a 6 and you get plus 6n Next, I would want to take out n over 6, okay, as a factor, a common factor. And so, if I put a square bracket here, and then expand these two brackets here, we're going to have 2n squared, and then we've got n plus 2n, so that's plus 3n, and then we've got 1 times 1 there, so that's plus 1. And then... For this one here, we're going to need to multiply the bottom here by 3 to get the 6. So you multiply the top by 3, and that means that we've got 15 here. The end's out the front of the bracket, so it's just 15 times the bracket, 15 bracket n plus 1. And then for the last term here, I just need to multiply by 6. Remember, the end's out the front, so that's going to be 36 there. And we've got n over 6 then. And I can see we've just got the 2n squared, the 1n squared term there. And then we've got 3n here, another 15n there. So that's going to be plus 18n. And then 1 here, plus 15. 15 times the 1, plus the 36. That comes to 52. And then... I can see that I could 
divide through by 2 or pull out 2 out the front anyway 2n over 6 which is going to be n over 3 and then I've got n squared plus 9n plus the 26 and that's what I had to show.